They're coming to get you, Barbara. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it! You're acting like a child! Look, they're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. Because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens, and because of the crisis which is even now developing, this radio station will remain on the air day and night. This station and hundreds of other radio and TV stations throughout this part of the country are pooling their resources through an emergency network hookup to keep you informed of all developments. The wave of murder which is sweeping the eastern third of the nation is being committed by creatures who feast upon the flesh of their victims. First eyewitness accounts of this grisly development came from people who were understandably frightened and almost incoherent. Officials and newsmen first discounted their eyewitness descriptions as being beyond belief. However, reports persisted. Medical examinations of some of the victims bore out the fact that they had been partially devoured. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. Widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. It seems to be a sudden general explosion of mass homicide. When this emergency first began, radio and television was advising people to stay inside, behind locked doors for safety. That situation has now changed. We're able to report a definite course of action. The Survival Command Center at the Pentagon has disclosed that a ghoul can be killed by a shot in the head or a heavy blow to the skull. Officials are quoted as explaining that since the brain of a ghoul has been activated by the radiation, the plan is kill the brain and you kill the ghoul. 